I've had operations run against me by the corrupt FBI, you know, set, set, setting up with these briefings, and then they leak to the media and, and smear me. Uh, so, no, I, I've got firsthand knowledge of the corruption that is certainly existing within the FBI and the Department of Justice. Um, this, this, is, this is amazing. You know, President Trump, the last day of office, I had to subpoena the FBI because they were not providing the information that we were asking in our oversight responsibility, our oversight duties. They, they just weren't giving it to us. So we, so we subpoenaed them. They really didn't give us squat. Uh, President Trump, you know, obviously wanted information out. And I think the last uh, couple of days of office, he declassified a bunch of things to, to provide to us. We've never gotten one page of that. I, I have to scratch my head, and I, I wonder if maybe that is part of the treasure trove. And did the FBI go in there and seize that? Because my guess is some of that information might have uh, uh, little evidence of things that aren't particularly flattering to the FBI. Wait a yeah, second. I, I, Hold on, I sir. I just think this is outrageous. Are you saying that it's possible that the FBI went into Mar-a-Lago to seize records that might show malfeasance on the part of the FBI? I say it, at this point anything's possible. It wouldn't surprise me, let's put it that way, if what this whole thing – it was about is recovering evidence that would be embarrassing the FBI. Uh, you know, Christopher Ray has done a terrible job. Under his directorship, the FBI came in in March of 2018 to brief the Senate Intel Committee, basically say, no, we, we think the Steele dossier has integrity. So, again, I, you know, again, I've just seen it up close and personal. We've uncovered evidence of the corruption. But the problem, Dan, is you just, you know, the mainstream media does not report it. Right. I mean, what, what, what they do instead against somebody like me is they just use pejoratives, you know, conspiracy theorists, you know, misinformation spreader, you know, all this. But they don't ever say what I, you know, tell, tell the public, well, what did I say that was untrue? You know, yeah, I've been I've been investigating conspiracies like real conspiracies.